Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I wanted to show you how to add a table of contents to um, a document that you've made. Now I have an ebook here and the first thing that you have to do is format um, your headings. So this is what we're going to use to make the table of contents. So what we want is, um, as you can see, this one here, if I highlight it, it is a heading one, okay? Now if I go down, if I click on this one, all right, this is a subheading that I'm using and it's a heading two, okay? So we go down the line, okay? So this is the next section, so it is a heading one, right? So see this? Right, this is a heading one, next section. Now within there, um, well there's another one. Now here is a heading two again. Okay, now it's very important, okay, that you go through and format your headings correctly and choose heading one, heading two. Okay, so once we've done that, um, then we can go up to the top and we can make a table of contents, an automatic one. Okay, so we're not going to go typing it out ourselves. Now this is really great because it'll let you navigate through the document. So this is um, this is a going to be a PDF report that I'm going to give away. Okay, uh, well I already give it away, but I always keep it updated. So I've updated it and I want to put a table of contents in. So I've clicked here, okay, and I'm going up to the top here and I'm going to choose references. And here it is here, it says table of contents. Now I'm going to click on that little arrow there. Now I can see how it's got heading one, heading two, heading three with a page number. Now I can click on that right now and we'll, I'll show you. It'll make it for me. Okay, so here it is. Now this is very clear, it's quite good. It's got the heading one sticking out, as you can see. Then it's got underneath, <coughs> that's a heading one as well. See, one, two, and actually it's made me look at this and go, whoa, look at that, there's two and two, I've made a mistake. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, anyway, so as you can see, the heading two is um, in, indented and um, all over here it also gave me the page numbers just like that. Okay now the other thing that is great about a table of contents is that you can press control and um, then click on it with your mouse and it'll take you to the spot in the document. Okay so when I make the PDF it is going to um, take me straight to the place that I want to go which is great for people if they want to go straight to a certain spot. Now just say I updated the ebook now and I want to change this I am going to right click on this um, this whole content thing and we're going to just press on update field and it says let's press on update the entire table just in case the page numbers have changed or maybe I've added some more subheadings in and just press OK. Right, so it will just automatically update it whatever I've got in the book. Now that you know that it's only gonna pick out the H1, H2 and H3 headings, okay? Right, now the other thing is that I can change the format of this. We're gonna go up here Okay, we're going to go to table of contents again on the reference thing tab and we're going to go down here and we're going to say, well we can just say insert table of contents and this time we're going to choose one that we want to do. So we just say, um, yeah we want to align them right but we want to choose a different template so let's go through it capitals, mm, distinctive, uh, distinctive looks alright, okay, fancy, eh, it's not very fancy, modern, okay, formal and simple. Alright, 
Um, which one did I like? Uh, I think it was this one. Okay, so I'm going to choose this one. Now, you can go and um, edit it yourself if you like. And also it says use hyperlinks instead of page numbers. Okay, so it's going to be hyperlinked as well. Right, so let's press OK. Yep, and it says do you want to replace the selected table of contents? And I'm going to go OK. Right, so there we go, we've changed it. And um, that's it. Okay, so how easy is that? Um, now you can make your book and add in a table of contents. If you would like to see more um, articles and tutorials on Microsoft Word, I have a free report for you that I actually made in Word and then I saved it as a PDF and it's free for you to download. So click on the link below and you will get your free ebook. Okay, see you later.